Did you know that Rotterdam boasts Europe's largest seaport? Yes, you heard it right. This bustling maritime hub in the Netherlands is a vital cog in the global machinery of trade and commerce. Its size is staggering, covering a sprawling expanse that stretches over 42 kilometers. But it's not just the size that's impressive. Every year, countless ships dock at its berths, their holds brimming with goods from around the world. Millions of tons of cargo pass through Rotterdam, making its way to destinations far and wide. From electronics and clothing to food and machinery, if you can name it, chances are it's passed through this port. The port's impact on the Dutch economy is immense, contributing a significant chunk to the nation's GDP. It's a testament to the Netherlands' strategic location, robust infrastructure, and commitment to commerce. So next time you receive a package from overseas, think about the journey it might have taken through Rotterdam. Ever wondered about the connection between New York City and the Netherlands? Well, prepare to be intrigued. You see, New York City, the city that never sleeps, was originally known as New Amsterdam. Yes, that's right, a nod to the Dutch capital itself. Back in the 17th century, the Dutch West India Company established a settlement at the southern tip of Manhattan Island. They named it New Amsterdam, a homage to their homeland. This small settlement would eventually grow into the bustling metropolis we know and love today. But traces of the Dutch colonial era are still evident in the city. Pay attention to the architecture, and you'll notice Dutch influences. And if you've ever wondered why some of the street names sound a bit, well, Dutch, that's because they are. Streets like Stuyvesant Street, Brickelen Bridge, and even Wall Street have Dutch origins. So, the Big Apple owes some of its charm to the small yet influential Netherlands. Imagine a cafe that can host 3,700 people. Too big to be true? Welcome to the Drie Gezusters, or Three Sisters, located in the heart of Groningen, boasting the title of Europe's largest cafe. This isn't your typical coffee shop, it's a sprawling spectacle of Dutch hospitality, a space where conviviality meets grandeur. The dry gazusters pulsates with a vibrant social scene, a mosaic of locals and tourists alike, all drawn in by the promise of an unforgettable experience. Here, conversations flow as freely as the coffee, punctuated by laughter and the clinking of glasses. And let's not forget the cafe's unique architecture, a symphony of traditional Dutch design and modern elements, it's a visual feast as satisfying as the food and drinks on offer. If you're ever in Groningen, the Drie Gezusters is a must-visit for a taste of Dutch social life. Did you know that the Netherlands' lowest point is 7 meters below sea level? Quite intriguing, isn't it? This flat land, known for its picturesque windmills and tulip fields, is a country where the highest point, the Valserberg, stands at a modest 323 meters. But the true marvel lies in its lowest point, located in the Zuidplas boulder, a staggering seven meters below sea level. You might wonder, how does a country thrive under such conditions? Well, the Dutch have mastered the art of water management with their intricate system of dikes, canals, and pumps. This ingenious system keeps the waters at bay, turning a potential threat into a manageable resource. The Dutch have not just adapted to their unique landscape, but have expertly engineered it to their advantage. It's a testament to their resilience and innovation. In the Netherlands, water isn't just a fact of life, it's a way of life. When you think of the Netherlands, do tulips come to mind? If not, they certainly should, as this charming nation holds the title of the world's largest tulip producer and exporter. This vibrant flower is more than just a pretty face. It's a significant part of Dutch history, culture, and economy. The story of tulips in the Netherlands dates back to the 16th century, when they first arrived from the Ottoman Empire. Today, this nation's love affair with tulips is as strong as ever. Every year, from late March to mid-May, the Dutch countryside transforms into a colorful tapestry of blooming tulips, drawing visitors from all corners of the globe. But the impact of tulips goes beyond aesthetics. They play a crucial role in the Dutch economy, with the country exporting billions of these blossoms annually. From vibrant fields to bustling flower markets, tulips truly are a symbol of the Dutch spirit.